Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Omori. This is the guide for finding all of the Hangman keys. Hangman is uh, a little puzzle thing where you have to spell out Welcome to Black Space in order to get to, like, the final area of the game and, like, you know, beat it and whatnot. But you can find all of the keys and get an achievement. So... I figure that's what I want to show you. I'm going to be starting with A all the way to Z, and I'm not going to be skipping. There are some keys that are exclusive to the Hikikomori route, and I will make a note of that on the screen. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's go ahead and start Hangman. The first key is a gimme. It's right outside the neighbor's room, leading to the playground. Also, Amori is the only character that can interact with these keys, so if one is see-through, just switch to Amori. The B key is found at the foggy bridge connecting the two ends of the vast forest. The C key is at Pinwheel Forest. You'll need to come back after Amori has overcome his fear of heights. It can be as soon as you visit Otherworld. This is also when collecting the right keys starts leaving behind holes to interact with. The D key is next, found at the Otherworld Junkyard. This is the first unnecessary key. You'll need to climb the garbage mountain found before the chase with Rosa. After defeating Captain Space Boy, this is found in bed on his pillow. Hard to miss. The F key is inside the barn in Otherworld's Cattail Field. Again, hard to miss, but is also not needed to beat the game. The G key is something you'll have to wait for a while until you ha have reset headspace in the Hikikomori route. Get the batteries from Pinkbeard and put them in the igloo at Frozen Lake in Otherworld to open a portal to a brand new area. Right next to the portal is this key.
The H key is at the end of Lost Forest, found as an offshoot of Pyrefly Forest. As it's an entirely optional area, this key is also optional. The I key is found at Sweetheart's Castle Dungeon, inside a cell. Just need to navigate the tunnels below to find a way to it. The J key is inside a cage at the castle quarters, found to the right on the second floor. Use Aubrey to break the cage, then Amori to pick it up. The K key is at the castle's art gallery, pretty blatantly displayed right here. Next is the L key, found at the Lost Library. You get down here after defeating Sweetheart. The M key is found at the bottom of the well that leads to the underwater highway, right in your way.
The inn key is by one of the tables on the first floor of Last Resort. The O key is found inside the haunted pool outside of the Last Resort. Just interact with it to find yourself at a ghost party. It's hanging next to the other rows. The P key is found inside a stall in the men's restroom of Last Resort. I get it. The Q key is found inside the elevator to the concierge in the last resort. Hard to miss, but also not needed to beat the game. The R key is found at the very top of the construction zone on the fourth floor of last resort. Just take the ladder up. You'll realize you saw this all the way back at the beginning of the game. The S key is sitting on an open seashell next to the last toll booth on the underwater highway. The T key is inside Humphrey, the northern section, I believe. 
While Experiment 667 is chasing you, have Aubrey break the case that you come across so you can pick it up. If you missed it, Humphrey will spit it up after defeating him, since it's a required key. The U key is inside Humphrey during the water current section. Just head left twice. The V key is inside Humphrey during the multiple choice quiz. It's just inside a cage similar to the J key. The W key will be spit up by Humphrey after defeating him. Alongside the T key if you missed it. Both are required. These last three keys are optional. The X key is found on the third floor of Dino's Dig at Orange Oasis, inside one of the piles. It's the bottom right one, but you can use the treasure map found outside to also show you where X marks the spot. The Y key is found after exiting the igloo leading to Snowglobe Mountain. It's found around the northeastern segment of the large snowfield. You'll need to be on the Hikikimori route to be able to access this in the first place. Finally, the Z key is found at the entrance to the Abyss, only accessible in the Hikikomori route in the first place.
Collecting all the keys gives you access to the Abyss, as well as an achievement. And, if you're playing on the PC version, a sudden crash.